There are a lot of claims in commercials from the candidates in the 23rd District GOP congressional race, but what's actually true? Let's verify. Our sources for these four ads, two for each candidate, are the Federal Elections Commission, NYPD, the New York City Police Department, the State Division of Criminal Justice Services, the U.S. Small Business Administration, and archive video from YNN. Let's start with Carl Palladino's claim about crime. Crime is out of control, especially in New York. The ad cites this June 22nd article from the New York Post. The full title is Violent Crime Surging in New York, Los Angeles Report. The Post cites 2022 data from the NYPD that shows how certain violent crimes like rapes, robberies and felony assaults are all up, but only in New York City, which is a couple hundred miles from the 23rd Congressional District. State numbers show from 2012 to 2021, violent crime statewide, excluding New York City, has actually dropped 13.1%. Palladino's crime claim is about New York City, not the state or his district. We rate it false. Next, an ad targeting Nick Langworthy, featuring comments he made in 2010. Carl is a tremendously popular figure here in Western New York. We can verify the video aired on YNN's Capital Tonight back in 2010, but it needs more context. The ad does say these are past statements, but doesn't make clear Langworthy said them when Palladino was the GOP nominee for governor and Langworthy was the local party chair whose job was to elect Republicans. Next, two versions of virtually the same ad that come from an outside group. Paladino cut checks to Democrats, giving thousands to Schumer, Kerry, even Hillary Clinton. Conservatives can't trust politicians like Carl Paladino. Both of the ads were paid for by the American Liberty Action Pack, which FEC filing show has spent more than $313,000 opposing Paladino and $9,400 in support of Langworthy. The company behind the pack is Bulldog Compliance, a division of yet another company, Red Curve Solutions, a budgeting and accounting services company for political campaigns headquartered in Massachusetts. Now, we have no idea who donated money to this pack, but we can verify the first claim they make. FEC filings reveal Palladino did donate to John Kerry's 2004 presidential campaign and to Hillary Clinton when she was senator for New York. He also gave money to Chuck Schumer, though the last donation was in 2009. Finally, a Palladino claim that he's a successful businessman. I've created tens of thousands of jobs. Employing hundreds today and thousands through the years. We can't verify how many total people Palladino has employed through the years. But according to the application, one of his companies filed for the Paycheck Protection Program. As of April 16, 2020, he was employing 499 people. With your Verify, I'm Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.